a very beautiful and sensible way <laughs> for you to start your look and you know remain feminine and flip your hair here and there hey beautiful welcome back if you're new here my name is midi in order for you to be sure of what starter lock that you are going to employ if you're thinking of starting your lock soon okay there are so many metals that you can start your locks with and the first thing that you want to do is for you to profile your hair the type of hair you have will determine the starter lock that will be suitable for your hair and of course it also involves your desire your likeness and what you feel you know is suitable for you and your taste okay and so the first type of starter lock is braid locks when it comes to braid locks this is about the oldest starter lock that there is okay one thing that i want you to know is that if you are the type that has long strands of hair and you do not want your hair to shrink so much then you might want to consider braid locks with braid locks your hair is going to experience less shrinkage because braid lock is usually tightly done, it does not allow the movement of your hair strands out of the braid, the plaited hair, okay? Some people refer to it as plaiting, okay? So if that is what you hear, it's still the same thing as braid locks, okay? And then another beautiful thing about braid lock is that if you want your hair to be small sizes, as in micro locks braid lock is going to come out beautifully well because for a very long time a lot of people are just going to assume that you are carrying braids the braid pattern does not disappear easily this might be one of the disadvantages because there are some people that they just want their hair to look locked after a short while or instantly so if you are the type then braid locks is not for you lock does not swell so much after a while if you are the type of person that love to pack your hair and makes it look flat smooth and all then braid lock is good for you if you want the traditional size of lock which is the the medium to big sizes of locks you can also start your locks with braid locks okay the tighter the braids are done the longer it's going to take for the strands of your hair to become locked and the longer it's going to take for the braided pattern to disappear put this into consideration but if it's something that you don't mind you can use it another thing with braid lock which this is my own opinion because i have come across people that would just want to lock their hair for a short while probably due to experience boredom and you know expenses that comes with the purchase of weave on wigs or they're just tired or most of the time they don't have the time they don't have the time to get their hair done every now and then and so they want to like lock their hair for a couple of months or even years to three years braid locks is the best for you why because braid locks is easier to lose after a while without you losing so much strands of hair on your head that is braid locks okay a lot of people do not like the frizzy look of locks you know after a while if you are that type of person braid lock does not allow the movement of the strands of hair out of the braid you are going to have less frizz you know along your lock journey weigh this put this into consideration and don't forget that braid lock does not swell that much so if the density of your hair is not high your hair is not going to appear voluminous after a while it's going to appear flat okay so put that also into consideration another method of starter lock that you might want to employ is finger curls comb curls i put that together because they are both curls finger curls is the one that is done with the use of the finger and the comb curls is the one that is done with the use of comb there are so many characteristics of comb curls but bear it in mind that it is a beautiful starter lock metal that you can use with comb curls and finger curls you can part your hair 
in any sizes that you want you can pat it in any shape that you want okay it can be as small as micro log and it can be as big as traditional log depending on your preference it can be done be assured that it is beautiful at the start of your log and at the end of your log journey okay one of the disadvantages of coils is that it is very difficult to maintain at the initial stage you are usually advised not to come in contact with water it is not to make you dirty it is not to make your hair smell it is for you to preserve the shape of the coils for as long as possible till like when your hair starts to lock up you know gradually if you follow instruction you are going to get the best result out of it okay except you are the type that cannot stay um, cannot do without washing your hair for a long time then you might want to uh, go for another thing another way because if you wash your hair before it starts to lock up it's going to unravel it's going to become rough and it's not going to look so fine okay that is just the strategy behind you not washing your hair for a while another thing which cause is that the longer the strand of your hair the longer it's going to take your hair to lock up because the locking process starts from the tip of your hair towards the root of your hair and if your strands of hair is long then it will have a long way to go before your hair eventually lock up another beautiful thing about comb coil is that the uniformity of comb coils is so beautiful as your hair grows out as you continue to maintain your hair with retwist most likely the uniformity in size is so beautiful that believe me it's one of the the things that attracts me to comb curls it's a beautiful method of locking your hair okay. another method that you can use to start your lock is known as instant lock with instant lock it requires the use of tools that is used to manipulate your hair it is used to compact your head and make it to shrink instantly such that as soon as they are done with your hair you are coming out of the hair <laughs> you are coming out of the plate with locked hair already and bear it in mind it requires the service of a loctician a professional in this area the one thing i know about this method of starter lock is that it saves time and it facilitates the compartment of your hair such that the spaces between the cortex of your hair strands you know is reduced greatly at the initial stage of installation and at the end of the day the shrinkage of your hair is minimal minimal it's still going to shrink but it is minimal you cannot sit down for a long time if you do not have the patience to wait for your hair to get locked up eventually then you might want to go for instant lock and the next one is two strand twist this is about the easiest and the fastest and the most common way of installing your locks a lot of people employ it because it's beginner friendly it is very easy for you to do it yourself okay and if you are going to be having small sizes of locks which is known as micro locks you might not want to employ the use of a lock chiction to get it installed for you two strand twists give room for when you probably change your mind you know based on the size that you started with whether you want it to appear smaller you can go back loosen it and cut it smaller or if you want it to be bigger you can combine the locks or you lose it and cut the pattern to bigger sizes that is why two strand twist is so much popular another thing about two strand twist is that if you do not have high density hair two strand twists allow your hair to swell up eventually because no matter how tightly it is twisted it cannot be as tight as braid locks it is usually loose and it makes your hair to appear bigger eventually okay that was what happened to me when i initially installed my hair i thought it was small enough but after a while it became bigger and i had to go back losing it and twist it all over again so that is like the beautiful thing <laughs> very nice thing about two strand twist okay the more loosely the hair is twisted 
the faster it's going to work. Another method of starter lock is the back combi. Back combi is usually used for hair type that is straight, bone straight, heat damaged, pent hair. If your hair is straight and you want to lock it, the most effective methods to use for this type of hair is back combing. This is done in such a way that your hair is cut out. Let's assume this particular hair strand is loose, it's not twisted. It's cut out this way, a portion, depending on the size that you want, and the hair is combed backward, backward, backward. This method kind of squeeze the hair together and tools, other tools are used to tangle the hair in between and eventually it gets locked up okay yes it is possible that combing requires the service of a loctician and experienced hand okay and it takes a long time to get it done so if other sometimes other people might want to be like use other methods to lock their hair if you have straight hair or if you have pent hair and you want to lock your hair you can actually use braiding braid locks to start your starter lock but bear it in mind that you will be advised to cut it off eventually because it's going to look different from the way your natural hair we appear after a while okay there are so many people that do not mind this they do not mind it at all but there are some people that is more like a shock to them after they, they lock their pen hair and they see the way it appears eventually they are usually shocked okay i've seen a video where a young lady sue a loctician to court because what she got was not what she expected so i'm assuming the loctisha did not give her enough information for her to be convinced that this is the way the hair is going to look like another method of starter lock that you can employ to start your lock with is with the use of foam if you have a very short hair like an inch of hair like an inch of hair it is this foam technique that is usually used to twist your hair round several times for uh, a very for a short while till the hair start to lock up okay it is used for temporary locking of your hair and it can be used for permanent locking of your hair as your hair grows out the method is employed over and over again in fact you will need to visit your loctician like every two weeks or thereabout depending on the period that is given to you to come for retwisting okay of the hair but this is another method that you can use to lock your hair. So another starter lock method that you can use is interlocking techniques you can use interlocking techniques to start your lock okay this technique is what is usually used for sister lock and sister lock is the type of locks that are very small they are very tiny so if you want small sizes of locks interlocking technique can be used to install it and if it is traditional size like the medium to big sizes of lock you can use that as well but bear it in mind that it has a way it appears and you might not like it this this technique is way it is very expensive and it's time consuming so if you are the type that do not mind all this then it is okay because it is usually very beautiful with interlocking techniques the rate of shrinkage of your hair is minimal because your hair is tightly you know interlocked such that it holds strongly and does not allow movement of the strands of hair so it stays in place and shrinkage is not that visible it's not that minimal and of course it might depend on your hair type okay because we all have different hair types texture density type you know curls pattern so many diverse type of hair that we carry the next starter lock that you might want to employ is lock extension if you have short hair let's say like four inches to five to six inches and you are the type that does not like that you know what do you call it that um 
close cut hair type on your head you love the hair that you can pack that you can let down and you are ready to lock your hair you can use lock extension to start your lock okay lock extension could be an extension that is already locked depending on the size you have there are different sizes that you can use and you can use loose natural hair whereby the hair is braided on your own hair okay and after a while when your hair has grown out you can either cut it off or lube it depending on your choice your preference okay so it's like a very beautiful and sensible way <laughs> for you to start your lock and you know remain feminine and flip your hair here and there and pack it in any direction and any way any style that you want okay although it's expensive you have to spend money and if you don't mind spending some cash okay money it is it is okay it is beautiful and okay. guys that will be all okay thank you once again for tuning in stay blessed stay beautiful and i'll see you in my next video okay don't forget to like my video <laughs>